If you work in corporate, then you're probably using Slack. Slack is the ultimate workspace where not only can you chat with your coworkers, but you can also hop on a quick huddle with them if you need to align on anything specific. And when everyone's cameras are turned on, of course you want to look good. If you want to look your best in every single Slack huddle, don't worry because today I will be teaching you guys how to add video filters to your Slack huddles. It's super simple to use, it's easy to customize, plus you don't need any coding experience to use it. If you want to look your best in every single video call, then you're going to need an app called Filter On Me. So what exactly is Filter On Me? Filter On Me is a standalone app which helps you customize and create your own video filters for any video call or stream. Filter On Me not only works on Slack, it works on plenty of different apps such as Google Meet, Zoom, FaceTime, Streamlabs, Twitch, and many more. Plus, it works for both Windows and Mac. Once you download the app, it's going to look like this. It does have a very simple and easy to follow layout. As you can see here on the left, there are different tabs here which you can explore and play around with to help you customize and create your own perfect video filter. Currently, I have all the filters off. And this is how it looks with the filters turned on. This look is actually one of the presets that I created using the app. Now that I've shown you guys what Filter On Me can do, let me show you guys what you can customize here on the app. Again, the layout of Filter On Me is pretty straightforward. Each tab is labeled to a different part of your face. So the first tab we have here is the base tab. Similar to a traditional makeup routine, the base tab covers everything complexion. So we have different settings here for foundation, highlighter, contour, and blush. But of course, this is an app, so we have extra features like teeth whitening, soft light, and skin smoothing. With every setting here in the Filter On Me app, you can adjust the intensity as you like. So you can make it as subtle, or as intense as you prefer. You can also customize the colors as you like. Majority of the settings have color mixers, so you can really tweak the color as you prefer. You can make the colors more natural, or you can go with a crazy color like this. So you can really play around with the different effects here on Filter On Me. If adjusting your complexion isn't enough and you really want to adjust how your face looks, you can do that here at the Shape tab. The Shape tab has all the settings that you need to help you really sculpt your face as you wish. So one of the things that you can do here at the Shape tab is actually adjust the size of your forehead. You can make it smaller or bigger. You can also play around with the shape of your chin. You can make it longer or shorter. And if you want to make your face more narrow, you can also do that here on the app. The fun thing about Filter On Me is you can really customize it to how you like it so you can make it as crazy or as natural as you want. Here at the Eyes tab, you can also adjust how your eyes look and there are a lot of different settings that you can play around here. So not only can you change your eye color, but you can also change the placement and the shape. So you can make them bigger, you can make them more round, you can even do something called eye whitening. So if you want your eyes to look really white, there is that option here on the app. Filter On Me has created a setting for anything that you can possibly want to customize. One of my favorite things to customize on the app is actually the eye makeup because not only does it have the typical settings that you expect like eyeshadow, as you can see here, you can adjust things like your eyelashes if you want to make them darker. Plus, you can also play around with the shape of your eyebrows. You can play with the bend, the height, and even the spacing. So if there's an eyebrow shape that you were considering to do in real life, you can test it out here first on the app. The next tab we have here is the Lips tab. And again, so many things you can customize here. So one of the settings that I really love here in the Lips tab is actually changing the lipstick type. There are three styles that you can choose from. So there's matte, shiny, and we have glitter. I think this is a really cool added feature because not a lot of apps have this. And if you're looking for more definition on the lips, there's actually a setting for lip liner. And again, you can make it as subtle or as drastic as you like. And similar to the other tabs, there's a lot of different settings that you can play around with here to really tweak how your lips look because you can play around with lip size, with lip thickness, even lip shape. So if there's anything on your face that you want to change in real life, you can try it out first here on the app to see if you like it. Same thing with the nose. There's so many different settings you can play around here. And if you want to give yourself a virtual rhinoplasty, you can definitely do that here on the app. So you can play with the width and the position. So if you're thinking about going under the knife, but you weren't sure what nose shape looks good on you, you can play around with the app to see what works and what doesn't. The cool thing about Filter On Me is not only is it a beauty filter app, but you can also have a little bit of fun. Here at the Fun tab, there are a lot of different fun filters that you can add to your video call if you want to add a little bit of silliness and goofiness to the call. Let me show you some of my favorites. We have Dancing Broccoli, Egg, and Dancing Hot Dog. 
you can just pop this onto any work meeting if you want to lighten the mood. And once you've created the perfect video filter for you, you can actually save them as a preset. Once you create your desired video filter, you can go at the presets tab and you can click save. You can quickly give it a name. And once you click save, you have it ready for future use. As you can see here, I created a ton of different presets which I use depending on my mood. And once you're happy with the presets you created, it's time to add it to your Slack huddle. Trust me, it's simpler than it looks. Once you're in your Slack huddle, all you need to do is navigate to the settings bar here and click more actions. From here, you're going to click video and mic settings. Then you're going to switch the video from your webcam to the filter on me camera. And that's it. Filter on me will apply your last selected preset or your last chosen settings. Now you can look good in every single Slack call and it will only take you a minute. If you want to try it out and download it for yourself, you may visit our website at filterami.com for more information. And like always, if you have any questions about Filter On Me, you may leave them down below in the comments.